Hello, this is Bonsai, or known as XL, and I'm using the Super Gundam. And the uh, Super Gundam basically has to fight Dresens, which you don't want to get close to. Uh, you have to fight 7th Gundams, you have to fight Alex's, you have to fight like a Jogu Marine, <laughs> G3 Gundams, you know, like these dangerous ass raids, you know, like the Jogu Marine's a goddamn one star, that is hilarious. Um, you have to fight GPO2 BB, which is, you gotta pray that your shot's gonna literally land on him instead of the goddamn shield. You have to fight GPO3 stamens, you have to fight GPO4s with their insane, you know, rapid fire beams and their speed. Um, you have to fight Mark twos with that thing you have to fight Hayaku Shiki and oh my god just pray to god you don't get spotted by Hayaku Shiki or you know you you have to pray that you don't get freaking obliterated by uh, a goddamn freaking Bao you have to fight Rick Diaz you have to fight you know Saiku Zaku's you have to fight all these really really dangerous sort of mobile suits that just can like stagger you as you can see I got dropped into this low tier match and you know this mobile suit is very good in low tier matches like in like D minus uh, D plus you know C ratings maybe maybe B but when you're up at you know the, the B and A and S ratings, this is where it really struggles. Now, to use this mobile suit, I finally figured out a uh, you know, combination of how to use this mobile suit. So, you have to color this mobile suit, you know, black or just get like a really crazy black camouflage and try to blend in with materials because you do not want to get spotted in this thing all right you do not want to get spotted in this mobile suit you can use the decoy you know of this mobile suit to just you know run away and um you know you just have to kick back with this thing you you have to get kicked back you don't want to get spotted by anything now um its armaments are pretty damn freaking amazing but you know I feel like the beam rifle it's just it really pisses me off because I have to stay in one specific position you know and you know if if there ever is a moment let's just say if there was a Gobera that was headed towards me in super duper hyper speeds like super duper insane speeds you have to land your shot and even though if you even land your shot it probably might not even be able to you know stagger that Gobera Tetra and you know <laughs> you get killed by Gobera Tetras in this thing and um yeah it's it's very very hard but I will explain you know amazing things about this mobile suit which you know I really find amazing about this thing but you know it, it just in certain moments it just doesn't feel goddamn super and um yeah you have to literally be you know out in the open you have to either be you know hidden in you know um, materials you have to hide with this mole suit you have to you have to chill out in the debris with this mole suit now I was getting attacked by the bow and Lucky for me, my team member, team members really had my back. If my team members never had my back right there, I would have been, you know, like, literally having a very hard time against the bow. And the bow would have been able to just, you know, one combo me, like, insanely fast. Now, I was trying to get into a really, really good groove with this mobile suit. Um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> This is trying to land your shots. You have to land your shot. You cannot afford to miss with your your beam rifle. Now the beam rifle is really really solid stuff. It can do some really really nice damage. And um, 
right there that man was trying to you know evade but you know just sh showering that man with all those rockets really gave him like oh yeah I can't evade from all those rockets you know and that's the cool thing about this mobile suit you can just literally you know do some really crazy strategies now in this whole moment this match I basically took the opportunity to take advantage and I took advantage because the whole reason being is because they were just a bunch of uh, low tier players and um, you know with with low, ta low tier players you you could just take advantage um, that's that's the sad thing about you know the whole ranking system the ranking system kind of you know blows and it doesn't give like low tier players a chance to fight you know really really high tier players I'm basically a a minus player in disguise now um <laughs> I swear to god man <laughs> I swear to god um I don't know how many times I was just so close, and I mean so close from reaching uh, A minus. But it's just I just have all these really really bad matches, like goddamn freaking um, what's that game, like Yu-Gi-Oh, where I get extremely extremely bad hands to start off with, and um, yeah, it just feels like kind of that way. Now I was trying to line my shot onto this uh, Mark Three, and you know using this mole suit this is um where it really shines and um having your mole suit really really hidden it gives you you know a whole type of momentum in this thing now the cool thing about this thing i was literally chilling right there on you know that material and that mark 3 wasn't able to spot me and i was trying to land my wonderful rockets and what I find really really amazing the only amazing mo like only feeling this mo suit just feels so amazing is the rockets the rockets is when you land oh man when you add range boost on this mo suit is really really sick and I enjoy it a lot now using this mo suit it's very hard to use it in dialect colony or space fortress it's really supreme when you're using it in uh, dark space or satellite and one of our team members basically left the game I'm not sure but you know what happens here and you know when you're using this small suit and if a lot of these mole suits were able to spot me they would have literally gunned for me and when I mean gun for me they would have just chased me down because you know having no maneuver armor and having you know like not a lot of speed with this thing is very very you know very hard and it really throws you in a very very you know specific predicament And you know what I think? I think this mole suit would have been really amazing on the ground, and I have no idea why it's only for space. And um, it kind of, you know, frustrated me <laughs> so many times getting this mole suit. And as you can see, I was trying to stay away from this. Now, that's the flaw about this mole suit. You have to, you know, you have to land your your stuff right here. And I wanted to land my decoy and wanted him to run into the decoy. But chances of that happening is very, very rare. And, you know, yeah, I've been able to pull this Super Gundam like six times. Six times. And I even got like the goddamn freaking rewards, platinum rewards, twice of this mobile suit. Which it kind of really, really, really annoys me. Now, um, when you fully upgrade this mole suit, it is worth it. When you fully upgrade this thing and get the, the extra buff on, you know, the rockets, it's amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. And, um, yeah, it's very, very devastating when you can land all your shots onto, you know, one specific general. 
Yeah, and landing your shots, it staggers them, but it takes multiple, like, it takes a lot of rockets to completely stagger an opponent. And, you know, this is the only game, like, probably my very first game I've ever been able to get first place in this mobile suit. And, um, yeah, it's pretty decent, but, you know, seeing, like, the, the damage dealt, that is just a really, you know, kind of, kind of gives it a, a real bad bummer using this thing. Now, these were, you know, my other other matches where I did not color this mobile suit, you know, black and stay hidden. So when you're um, a big old freaking highlighter in this mobile suit, you pretty much stick out like a sore thumb and your beam rifle kind of you know flashes and it flashes like crazy as you can see that man was trying to head towards me I was trying to get out of it I could not then um, there is this V seeker right here and I was like oh crap this is going to be a very very painful match now um raids you do not want to get spotted by raids you do not want to get spotted by raids in this thing if you 1v1 a raid you're going to you know 90% of the time you're going to probably you know lose that conference like that moment if you're by yourself and it's just a raid now you know the 10% that's if you can land your shot if you very you know very are precise now the beam rifle is really really nice when you land your shot but the problem with this beam rifle is that you have to sit in one position and sitting in one position you know gives a you know enemy opponent a you know heads up that you're prepping for a shot and I literally saw the V Seeker and I wanted to stay out of its uh, range and I wanted my team members to go after it and the V Seeker was basically going around searching for me to be honest it was trying to get a really good angle and you know I'm not even talking about like I didn't even mention this mobile suit and you know getting attacked by raids in this thing you look at that look at the damage this thing is giving me that is some insane stuff and you know if you're thinking that you can literally go 1v1 like a goddamn raid in this mobile suit are you out of your mind you know the famous saying of Joe but I gotta swear to god man if you ever have your time watch the angry joe show every single time i'll be watching that show makes me smile makes me laugh i love their little you know their little freaking skips so it's pretty enough freaking awesome now yeah it's just very very hard now when you're using this mobile suit you have to stay behind your team members it's not a frontal mobile suit going frontal with this mobile suit you know it's it's pretty painful And you know, it's just like a, it's a sniper, you know, you you just have to literally chill back, do some damage. Now, the beam gun, the large beam rifle, I'm kind of disappointed that it basically, you know, does only two shots. It would have been nice if it did like three shots, three shots would have been nice. And at this specific moment, I know for a fact that there is a GM Night Seeker trying to look for me right now. And speak of the devil, look at the GM Night Seeker. Just literally getting in on all these guys. You know, he's literally taking on like three freaking mobile suits. And you know, that's pretty damn insane. And this guy, whoever is the Night Seeker, he is a very extremely good player. I could not escape. Look at that. No dodge roll no maneuver armor now you know when you get attacked by a Jelgu marine 
you have to pray that the the melee is not going to land on you now if you are using this mole suit you you have to literally time your boost and try to catch your opponent if you don't time it right whatever type of raid you are fighting up against in this thing you're going to have no chance against these raids and um yeah if if you see a bawu do everything you can to stop it before it gets to you do everything you can and um when you literally start the beginning of a match don't aim at a freaking raid if you aim your gun at a raid it literally gives your position with this mobile suit now when you're fighting against generals and this is what really really is amazing with this thing is the rockets and the rockets literally like soaks like real nice you know into the enemy's armor and yeah I got attacked by the GM Night Seeker and I did not even see him coming that dude is busting some really good plays right here and he's only using a 500 imagine a 550 raid and this is almost you know a lot of these matches I have with this mobile suit and you know I can't escape man I can't I can't go anywhere and it's pretty damn devastating stuff now every single time when I'm trying to use this freaking mole suit you have to keep in mind of your rockets because your rockets shoot above your mole suit not below now the GM night seeker is literally after me so I had to literally spam support me I was spamming it so hard <laughs> because I couldn't do anything and um, one of my friends in our team he is Amru Reyes and Amru Reyes he is you know really really good he's an absolutely amazing player um I believe he was like in a second clan of I had like way back I've had like around six clans in this game so I've had a little bit of taste of everything which is pretty um, solid stuff been in a Japanese clan to American clans majority of the American clans but you know it's just very 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 effective now me and this uh, support you know you can fight supports you can go one on one with supports with this thing which is really good and I love it um, as you can see he was able to boost towards me and grab a nice juicy kill off me and throughout this whole game you know I did pretty damn bad like I did so bad but my team was able to pull my weight like they were holding my weight and you know I couldn't show off with this mall suit you know when you use this mall suit don't expect you're gonna be able to show off right away um, using this mole suit I don't know if I want to like have a go to but you know I only was able to get one kill with this thing and that was like a very high tier match um, this was also a high tier match but you know this is where it's just really amazing and you could just do some maximum stuff with this and this small suit would have been really nice if I colored this uh, black to literally blend in these materials. Now, if you want to like shoot your shot in a a kind of like a whole fight with uh, your your team members, and they are pretty damn busy with fighting a raid, it is good idea to literally shoot your shot right into the middle of that raid and you know you can literally save yourself now when you're using this mole suit you have to kick back you cannot go close combat every single player in this game like always kicks back with this and you know it's it's the best outcome like you can literally do some really nice outcome with this 
Now, right over here, I was trying to, like, whittle down this Yakushiki, because if that Yakushiki literally comes towards me, he's going to have a crazy ass advantage trying to kill me. And I was trying to land my shots onto this Hayaku Shiki because I felt like that was a really good target at that specific moment. As you can see, the Hyaku Shiki was basically distracted with all these generals. And um, the Hyaku Shiki, he did not have, you know, the power to push up because guess who was right next to him? A Zong. And you know, the Zongs, you have to be precise with it. If there was a GPO3 at that specific moment, they would have been able to push on these generals and take advantage. But since he was basically handling a bunch of generals, I understand his, you know, his whole sort of, you know, pain and feeling. Now, I was trying to go after that Zong, but you know, Zongs are pretty damn crappy, maneuver armor, blah blah blah, and I got knocked out by the the support. I was just like, oh, I did not see that coming. <laughs> And I do not know who was able to pull that off, but you know, there is this player with, you know, capitalized and lowercase letters and I just couldn't even see what the person's name was. Now when I put attacking raids, there is literally no option in the game saying you know take the rates there's no option that literally says take the rates there's options to say take the generals take the supports but you know there's no option to take the rates for that specific reason I have no idea why didn't they include that so I added the the thing saying attacking rates because having that um that little extra filling to it is a good type of thing now if it says attacking raids your whole team is basically going to attack raids now um i was trying to line my shot but i was having really really bad you know visual on a lot of these opponents and i basically lost the distance and you know it just took me a little bit too long to figure out the distance and throughout that whole moment, I was kind of stupid. I should have zoomed in. The zoom in would have made me have a better accurate shot. And, you know, I do not want to fight a Methus with this thing. But if the Methus is distracted, that's a good time to attack with this mobile suit. So you have to keep in mind when you're using this mobile suit long range. Um, if I had to rate this mobile suit, I'd give this mobile suit a nine out of ten because you know it's got really good weapons. It's got you know rockets. It's got the beam gun. It's got you know a, a decoy to you know just try to get away from really really bad situations. And the beam sword, it does pretty damn decent damage. Now, the problem with this is that, you know, trying to get out of like these really, really bad engagements. Right over here, I was able to shoot that Hyakushiki because he was distracted on one of our team members. I wanted to shoot him again, which is doing some nice quick work of going after Yakushiki. Now the thing about you know fighting raids is that you can fight raids at a distance unless you're trying to go up against a Gaplant. The Gaplant has you know it's basically a a raid that's a sniper class. It's pretty damn effective. As you can see, there are going to be a lot of videos 
that I put on this mobile suit, and majority of the time, um, the raids haven't been focusing on me. But I've had a lot of bad videos where the raids were eating me for goddamn freaking breakfast, and I could not even do a single thing. Now, that's the problem with this mobile suit. When you're literally trying to aim your your sniper into a whole sort of moment right there, you stand still. You know, and that's that's kind of a big problem. But when you're using the sniper, you know, you, you get a guaranteed stagger, so but it really depends when you're trying to stagger a a dresden with this mobile suit. The dresden might like literally shrug shrug it off like shrug the goddamn beam rifle off and like hmm that's nothing but boy man there is nothing more satisfying is when you're literally landing your your goddamn rockets onto a dude and you know each rocket the ballistic rocket can literally take like 500 health so you know 500 times 28 yeah that's a pretty damn big number and majority of the time you're going to be using the rockets of this mobile suit 100% of the time and when you're using the rockets in this mobile suit it reloads really nice really quick pretty damn it's pretty damn decent but you know I just hope I don't pull another one of these goddamn mobile suits because I kinda get annoyed <laughs> pulling this mobile suit um but but yeah when you're up against a group of enemies it can't handle a group of enemies um, you can handle like two generals with this mobile suit if you can time it right but if there's literally two generals and a raid you know who's the first ones gonna literally lick their lips and get you know really nice and close up and personal is that good old fashioned raid and the good old fashioned raid you cannot hide away from it um, a lot of the raids have maneuver armor and they can just shrug off your your shots like if it was nutting dude like literally nutting now I was trying to go after this man look at that look at the damage of that all those goddamn rockets connected now that is the glory of the small suit it's really nice it's glorious when you land all your rockets And um, there are basically two GPO-4s. Now, if those two GPO-4s were headed towards me, that would literally put me in a very bad disadvantage. And as you can see, one of the GPO-4s was able to literally aim one of the shots at me. But all of them were basically long range, and we were basically having a long range type of engagement with GPO-4s, which was pretty damn hilarious. Now, when the GPO-4 is, you know, overwhelmed by a group of your guys, you can do some pretty damn sick old stuff. And this game I was able to do really, really amazing. I, I felt like this this should have deserved uh, kind of like a first place because I felt like I did like really damn solid stuff, solid work with this. Now I'm trying to get to this whole um, whole area. I should have aimed my rockets on a low health type of player over there, but I was aiming my rockets on the zombies. I felt like it was just a lot more bigger and juicier target because of all the HP on that thing. And um, I got shot by the side. I wasn't sure what shot me on the side. And that was the Hakushiki. Now, if my team members weren't there, I would have been dead. 
Now, another good thing to you know keep in mind when you're using this mobile suit, literally throw your your decoys once every single time it literally you know activates. So when that decoy activates, it's really nice to literally throw it right into the the middle of the whole engagement to confuse the enemy opponents, which is really nice. And my team was doing really nice, beautiful work, nice, sick work, and I, I love them. And uh, I believe one of our team members in our team was doing some really, really crazy work, and I'm going to see the end results. And, you know, when you're going up against the Zong, you don't have to worry about, you know, maneuvering against that thing. You just spam those rockets. You know, like, your rockets reload almost, like, every six to eight seconds, something like that. And then you can come in with, you know, a whole volley of goddamn rockets on whatever type of journal that's trying to approach you. And we were basically in a very sick advantage. We had a really, really effective type of momentum. And, you know, it'd be kind of retarded if we received a fallback order right now. Because we are basically doing a really, really good, good job right now. And my shot wasn't able to connect. Now, trying to connect with your shots in space, it's really nice to shoot your shot when your enemy is staggered. When the opponent is staggered, it's nice. They literally stand still for you, and then you go boom boom with that thing. And you had to come in with those lasers, and the lasers are pretty nice on this. The beam, the beam rifle can basically do around 4,000 damage, which is pretty damn decent stuff. And um, another good thing about this mall suit is you can literally melt bases. So when you're melting bases, <laughs> it's pretty damn nice, pretty damn trolly stuff. And boom, I was able to slip a shot right onto that man. I felt like it felt really deserving for me because that was really, really nice. And um, I was trying to get my shot off this uh, GPO-1. And the problem is, is that if you literally are using this mole suit and you're going up against a GPO-1 and a GPO-1 spots you, that thing could be so quick that you can literally miss your sniper shots as you can see right there now um when you're trying to aim your sniper shot onto a gpo one it's very hard to connect your sniper shot onto one of those bonuses because they are very stupid fast very fast mobile suit. I was trying to get after him trying to aim my shot but I couldn't I was too slow Now, we were pretty, pretty up there, right there. But yeah, this mole suit, 9 out of 10. It's still got, you know, some things it needs worked with. If, you know, if it had, like, movement when you're shooting the sniper rifle, this thing would have got, like, a 10 out of 10, like, literally but since you have to sit still and you have to hold as you can see here it kind of is very very frustrating and um i was trying to aim my shot and i was able to get him that was like like so lucky right there very very lucky now um i was trying to go in for a really really nice finisher right there but the gpl4 did some nice sick wonderful work right there 
this was a pretty damn solid game and um, one of our team members was able to get really sick damage off and it was a methus and see y'all later take care